Good afternoon and welcome to the Daily Office. I'm Brother Bill and this is Evening Prayer for Thursday, June the 9th, 2011. The scripture for this service, Psalm 105, verse 23 to 36. Luke chapter 10, verse 25 to 37. And the canticle is from Isaiah chapter 38, verse 10 to 14 and 17 to 20. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. So Israel came into Egypt. Alleluia. Psalm 105. So Israel came into Egypt, and Joseph's, Jacob's family lived in the country of Ham. You gave the people increase, and made them stronger than their foes, whose hearts you turned against the people, to deal deceitfully with your servants. And then you sent Moses your servant, and Aaron the man you had chosen. And together they wrought, the, they wrought your marvels, and wonders in the country of Ham. You sent darkness, and dark was made, but Egypt resisted your words. You turned the waters into blood and caused their fish to die. Their land was alive with frogs, even to the halls of their kings. You spoke and the dogfly came, the gnats covered the land. You set hailstones in place of the sun and flashing fire in their land. You struck their vines and trees and shattered the trees through their land. You spoke and the locusts came, young locusts, too many to be counted. They ate up every blade in the land, you ate, they ate up all the fruit of their fields, and you struck all the firstborn in their land, the finest flower of their children. Alleluia. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. So Israel came into Egypt. Alleluia. The lesson is from the Holy Gospel according to Luke chapter 10, beginning at verse 25. And just then a lawyer stood up to test Jesus. Teacher, he said, what must I do to inherit eternal life? And Jesus said to him, what is written in the law? What do you read there? And the man answered, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength with all your mind, and your neighbor as yourself. And Jesus said to him, You have given the right answer. Do this, and you will live. But wanting to justify himself, he asked Jesus, Who is my neighbor? And Jesus replied, A man was going down from Jerusalem to Jericho, and fell into the hands of robbers who stripped him and beat him, and went away leaving him half dead. Now by chance a priest was coming down the road, and when he saw the man he passed by on the other side, and so likewise a Levite, when he came to the place and saw him, passed by on the other side. But a Samaritan, while traveling, came near him, and when he saw him he was moved with pity, and he went to him and bandaged his wounds, having poured oil and wine on them. And then he put him on his own animal and brought him to an inn and took care of him. And the next day he took out two denarii and gave them to the innkeeper and said, Take care of him, and when I come back, I will repay you whatever more you spend. Which of these three do you think was a neighbor to the man who fell into the hands of the robbers? The man said, The one who showed him mercy. And Jesus said, Go and do likewise. Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace in Jerusalem, O God, and in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Keep this nation in your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon the earth and your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy be forgotten, 
nor the hope of the poor taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. Sustain us by your Holy Spirit. And for all of your intentions. Our beloved in heaven, holy your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our forgive us as we forgive others. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. I said, in the noontide of my days, I must depart. A canticle from the prophet Isaiah. I said, in the noontide of my days, I must depart. I am consigned to the gates of Sheol for the rest of my years. I shall not see you, my God, in the land of the living. I shall look upon mortals no more among the inhabitants of the world. My dwelling is plucked and removed from me like a shepherd's tent. Like a weaver, you have rolled up my life and cut me from the loom. From day to night, you bring me to an end. I cry for help until morning. Like a lion, you break all my bones. From day to night, you bring me to an end. Like a swallow or a crane, I clamor. I moan like a dove. My eyes are weary from looking upwards. O merciful God, I am oppressed. Be my security. Surely it was for my welfare that I had great bitterness, but you have held back my life from the pit of destruction, for you have cast all my sins behind your back. For Sheol cannot thank you, and death cannot praise you. Those who go down to the pit cannot hope for your faithfulness. The living, the living, they thank you, as I do this day. Parents make known to their children your faithfulness. You will save me, and we will sing to stringed instruments all the days of our lives at your house, O God. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. I said, in the noontide of my days, I must depart. Alleluia. Bless Yahweh, my soul, and may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia.